all right what's going on everyone uh this is the first time that i'm shooting my video with the my phone sideways so uh may it come out right um yeah i'm just i just came out here to vent you know this isn't really on any particular topic it's just i, I will be talking about a couple topics um, I don't know if you're somebody that, you know, if someone doesn't start the video with what they're telling you they're going to talk about, you know, you just cut off the video, but there's just so much stuff that I want to talk about. And, you know, this is just one topic, you know, you hear this quote, you know, laughter is the best medicine. And I agree with laughter is one of you know one of the best medicines but to me the best medicine of all is venting and talking about stuff and debating things and getting things off of our mind and letting everyone know what you know we're really going through and stuff and have each one of us do that you know, it can't just be one person, you know, uh, blabbering out everything that they're thinking of. Then when one person does that, then the next person feels uncomfortable and doesn't feel like, you, you know, you're doing something that they're doing. So, you know, that's just one thing. And, and it's like, you know, we, we don't have to always have a particular thing that we're going to talk about in a video you know you could just get on here and express your mind and talk about what it is that you need to talk about for the day like I just came out here to talk to myself and everybody you know what I mean I'm up in my room all day and I get tired of being up there, you know, I can't really do videos up there because I have to talk loud like this. I don't know how loud the audio is going to be. The audio might be crappy, but, you know, it's, I think we get so caught up in having to prove something to people on all these social outlets and having to be something and all this and you know I was just watching this video with this guy named Bryant I don't know the exact name of his channel but he was on there speaking about you know how I believe Thomas Edison he had a thousand patents he said and he said that he tried a thousand times before he got a patent so that means that he tried a million different times to put something out there. And see, this is what we have to realize is that we are not special. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that when I put something on my channel and I upload it, you know, like I'm going to get all of these views and people are just going to love my channel and they're going to subscribe and all this. It doesn't work like that and I realize that you know I realized that and you know that's why I named my channel this and, and I really want people to realize why I named my channel somebody but nobody because it's the constant contradiction in life you know it's the constant left and right up and down hot and cold you know everything contradicts itself and it's okay that it contradicts itself. You know what I mean? And I'm not always going to talk about the same things. But I do this because I think that I can give something to someone. That's why I do this. And you know, I got to be completely honest with everyone that is subscribed right now. And anyone that comes on my channel. I have to be completely honest. I I get in these streaks where, you know, I do do things and I do put an effort forth. And, you know, I'll upload a couple videos and I'll, I'll do some things. And then I go back to my old habits 
of procrastinating and telling myself like, you know, I just start thinking about what everybody else is saying and doing. And, and yes, there is a lot of ignorance and stupidity and non-logical thinking going around, but that doesn't mean that I have to be that or I have to do what everyone else is doing. And, and that's just my old bad habits of procrastination. And I, I hate that. I hate when I procrastinate. And I always talk about just be. Just be who you are. And, and don't try. You see, it's like I, I get this thing in my mind where I think that I have to try to be something. And I have to try for people. And I have to have something that... I'm going to talk about with somebody and there has to be this expectation to it. You know, that's why, yes, my channel may be growing slow and all that. And, you know, like I said, numbers don't mean nothing. I'm, I'm, it's, it's about the individual's life. It's about me and you watching. That's all it's about. And all we have is right now. This present moment is all we have. There's nothing else but this moment. And it's like, why not just do something? You know, I didn't have to come out here. I could have sat up in my room and, you know, been caught up in my thoughts and all that. But I said, you know what? Let me come out here and do a video and talk with people and vent out things and bring up stuff, even though... It doesn't have to matter. It doesn't have to be about any particular, you know, thing. And, and But see, this is what a lot of YouTube gurus and these other channels and a lot of these guys that have a lot of viewers and a lot of subscribers are telling you. They're telling you to be something and do it this way. Do it that way. Be like this person. Do this thing and you'll get more views. Don't do this or this is going to happen. They have no idea what is going to happen. None. They have no idea what is going to happen. And like... This guy, Bryant, that I was just listening to, and I'm sorry I didn't remember the name because he's one of these channels where he doesn't bullshit you. He just gets right to the point and he tells you how it is. You know, why can't we just say things for how they are? You know, have you ever had like your mom or your dad or family member or a quote friend you know i don't know who you can really call a friend or someone that is really there for you but have you ever had somebody anybody just come up to you and say hey come over here sit down for a second with me and let's talk and just sit there and talk up and say to them what's going on let me know what's going on with you and have a discussion and talk about what's really going on and then when you did that and i'm sure a lot of you have done this and you're going to relate to what i'm saying but some of you may not had that happen for you but when you do that then you loosen up and then the day becomes different and and you just you know what I mean? You loosen up and you do something and you start just speaking and being what you were already going to be, but you were letting all these worries and all of these cares and thinking about everything hold you back. And I do the same thing. That's why I'm reflecting on myself in these videos every time I do this I am talking to myself also I'm talking to you but I'm talking to myself and that's I constantly look for videos like this and content like this where someone is just telling me and just being what they are and showing me what they do if it's an artist that paints 
show me the painting show how me show me how you painted the picture if you're you're a musician you know show me what you made let me hear it you know what i'm saying it's not that hard but there are so many people now on youtube that it's just like they're telling you how to youtube if that makes sense to you you know it, to me it's it's ludicrous and it's it's kind of stupid and, and don't get me wrong i realize that th these videos some of these men and women they are helping you to be what you are on the platform but a lot of it is just telling you how to be like somebody else and how to act like someone else or how to do this thing the right way you know there is no right or wrong way in this that's why me as an individual i am constantly on the fence i'm always here i'm never on this side and i'm never on this side I never take sides, you know, Nate neutral. That's what I should name myself. And I've been writing stuff in my notebook like, you know, this is how I think. This is how I brainstorm. And, and this is, if you do this, you can get so much more creative and have something to do. Just brainstorm and just say what you say when you say it and be what you be when you be it. You know what I mean? It's not hard. We just make it so hard for ourselves. And it's like, you know, I like I said, I do these videos and I'm, I'm only human. You know, I do, I lose train of thought of what I was speaking about. And I will do that in a lot of my videos. But see, I have so much stuff that I want to talk about and discuss. And that is the beauty in venting out what is on your mind and just speaking speaking what you're thinking and who cares if someone judges you who cares what people are gonna say who cares about all that it's why are you worrying why am i worrying about what everybody else will think or say or how it will be you know it will register in their minds you know it's i'm gonna do what i do and i'm gonna put out what i put out and that's what i do you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it we make this so hard that's why i just said about being on the fence like this constantly be like a rubber band that is being pulled in both directions see i my whole life i always was like Oh, I feel like I'm being pulled in both directions and I don't know whether to go over here or over here and I feel like good and evil is, you know, doing this and that and all this stuff to me. But you know what? The contradiction was there the whole time and I never even seen it and there is beauty in this contradiction. There is so many ideas that you can get and, and to be creative and to, you know, just do something like painting or music or film or, you know, graphic design or anything. And I don't know how to, you know, do or work, how to work a whole graphic design system. And I really wish I did, but I haven't got to that point yet. I know how to do little things. You know, I know how to make a YouTube banner and stuff like that, but I don't know how to do like specifics, you know, specific things. You know, like I still don't know how to like uh, take a picture and put and like, you know, blank out the background so I could just have my face or you know like an item that i want in the picture there and then have a background and you know little stuff like that i still don't know how to do i don't know everything but i just got to be honest with myself i got to stop procrastinating 
I have got to stop doing this because it is, it, it just every time, it's not that I'm trying to be something. It's just, I just want to be and do what I do, but there's always something holding me back that that's up in here this stupid way of thinking that i still have and that's why i'm venting it out on here it's because i gotta get it out of my head and that's what i'm encouraging you to do is to maybe start that's why i said this in my other video i forget which video it was but you have got to if you want to do this Start your own journal. Start your own thing where you're on here just speaking. It doesn't have to be about nothing. You know what I mean? Like either people are going to relate or they're not going to relate. People are either going to like what you're saying or, or not like it. They're either going to agree or disagree. It's There's no point in getting hung up on what you're doing. Just do it and do it just be it and be it it's like this is what i gotta tell myself and it's like it's just them old stinking habits coming back into my head it's just them old stupid heavy burdening things coming back in my head and, you know, I could just, I like I said, I could go on and on because I have so much stuff to talk about. But I can't give you everything in one video. I can't get my point across in one video. And, and it's like, it's okay. I don't have to get it across. You see, that's my perfectionism coming into play, saying that I have to get my point across. I have to reach somebody. I have to get this person to understand me. I have got to get this person to agree with what I'm saying. And that's bullshit. That is that perfectionist way of thinking in my mind. That's my pride and my ego. And it's bullshit. And I got to tell myself that all the time. You see, it's like, let go. Just let go. Like, what? Like, why am I worrying? Why am I caring? You know, why do I do these things? It, it's, it's, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing for me or you. You know, if you're, if you're in a creative mood, then create. If you want to paint something, paint. If you want to write a story, write a story. If you want to do jumping jacks in your backyard and do a back flip, do jumping jacks and do a flip. You see, we're so caught up in worrying about what someone else is going to think or how it's going to register to someone else or how it's going to seem to the world. Instead of just being, instead of just doing, instead of just bringing what you were going to bring in the first place, but you were too busy worrying and caring like that, like I do. Sometimes, not all the times, because I would tell each and every one of you to not give a shit about nothing. Don't give a shit. If you see a homeless man and he's thirsty and he needs water, then give the homeless man some damn water. That's not the kind of giving a shit that I'm talking about. I'm talking about quit worrying, quit caring. It's not doing nothing for you. Like it's not doing nothing for me. And everything I say to you, I'm saying to me, you know, and it, it, it may sound crazy or nuts or insane to other people like some people would say i'm a double-minded man and oh you don't know what you want to do if you don't have an identity then you're just gonna listen to what anybody says and you're gonna be all over the place and you don't know what you are and all that and that's completely false 
You, you know what I mean? I don't need to know who I am. I don't need to know who I am. I'm a human being. My name is Nate. My channel is somebody but nobody. And I tell you how it really is. I don't need to be nothing. I don't have to have an identity. This is the pride that all men and women have in this ego. It, it keeps telling you that you have to be something. It keeps telling you and telling you and trying to convince you every day that you got to be this or you got to be that. You got to prove this point to this crowd. You can't be this around these people. You know, it's that constant pride and ego. And, you know, that kind of sums up the whole video, really, is it's my procrastination and it's my pride and my ego. Point blank, period. And nobody wants to get to that. Nobody wants to dig deep into the hole to get to the other side. And then when you get to the other side, see it for what it is. And then if you have to dig another hole to get to the other side, that's what you got to do. It, it's, it's, it's so easy, but yet we make it so hard. Like I make it so hard. Like I'm up here. I have so many things that I created. Beats, like musical, instrumental beats, you know, uh, writings, poems. You know, there's so much stuff that I have that I haven't even put out there yet because of fear and procrastination. And I see that that's what I'm doing is I'm letting that lead me sometimes. And why do I do that? There's no point in doing that to let it lead me. And I have so much stuff that I could be putting out on a daily basis and just constantly putting out and just getting it out of me and letting it be known to other people and however they take it is how they're going to take it but I could be doing so much more and this like I said this is not because I am trying I'm not trying See, we always go back to this try, try, try mode. It's not that I'm trying. It's just that there's so much stuff that I know that I am capable of doing and saying and giving to others as well as myself to just be what I am and do what I do. But it's like, that little part in my mind holds me back and it's so stupid why I let it hold me back it's just fear doubt worry and caring about everything and there's no point in doing it it gets me nowhere it always leaves me right here right here right in this present moment it always leads me right back to the same thing and then i say the same thing and then i get it out of me and then i might do something for a while and then it comes back you know it's that old dirty stinking habit that comes back and i'm seeing it for what it is and the more that i see it for what it is then i can see it for what it is and maybe I will not keep repeating it. So. And you know, it's it's like, it's a really weird thing. It's a really, really, really weird thing. And only people with understanding and logic can really understand this. Yes, I am telling you about all this stuff. But yet. There is always two sides of the story. And that's why I'm always like this on the fence. Because I'm never on one side too much. And that's why I'm talking about this right now. And then another day I won't be talking about this. And I will be saying the resolution to this. But then... 
you know, I'll be talking about it again sometime if it comes up again. And if we don't realize that this is all a contradiction, and, you know, I know a lot of people may say, well, this is kind of insane. You know, you're repeating things over and over and over again, and you're doing the same thing all the time. Well, that's the repetition of life, and that is life. Life is insane. I just did a video on that. Life is insane. It's insane. We do the same things over and over, even when we don't want to, or we don't seek to do the same things, and we don't desire to do the same things. We still do them. Like, duh, dummy, dummy, Nate, dummy. Like, you're doing the same thing, you know? But... You know, I'm just seeing it more and more and more and more and more. And I see that it is insane. It is insane. And that's why I'm talking about it because I want to get this insanity out of my head. And, and see, maybe laughter is the best medicine because now I'm laughing about it. It's like, it's funny right now. Like, it didn't mean shit. All along, it didn't mean nothing. You know, it was just the stupid, dumb pride ego in my own head. And if each one of you, wherever you are, wherever I'm pointing, this is the first video I'm doing with my camera the opposite way. If each one of you could get this through your head, you could be so much more free in and of yourself. And you wouldn't worry as much. I do this sometimes because I'm a human being. So how can we judge one another? You see what I'm saying? And when I judge myself, why, do, why am I judging myself? You see? <laughs> so I know a lot of people won't understand this. And I know a lot of people won't get to the end of the video, and that's okay. I just appreciate if you watch some of the video. You know what I mean? If you get something from it, and it does something to make you realize and just see your true self even more. Even when it sucks, even when it doesn't suck, even when you're having a good time or you're not having a good time, when you're having a great day or not a great day, it's the constant back and forth, yin and yang, hot and cold, up and down, less and big, that's constantly going on. And there's beauty in that. There is glory in that. That's the only word that I can really describe it as is glory. And I'm not saying that in, in a religious way. I'm not saying that in a spiritual way. I'm not saying it in any way. Let the word be the word. I, it's just glory. There's glorious moments. You know, and maybe I do need to just let things be more. And I say, I always talk about just be what you're going to be. Maybe I'm not doing that. Maybe I'm missing out on something for myself. I don't know. That's what I'm, you know, talking about and venting to you. And that's why I say my best medicine is venting and getting stuff out. So for you, the same. Later, y'all.